boss. He's late. But I guess you can get away with that when you're the district attorney in Deerhead. Well, we put calls out to him all morning. <laughs> he simply isn't answering his phone. run a nice little racket up here. Racket. Nice one, Harlan. Now, look, Mr. Goldman, I don't think I have to remind your client that murder in the first is a very serious charge. Mr. Ramirez. <laughs> How many more are there? I don't even know Steve, you... please. Exactly what are you offering? Well, good question. We are offering to be precise. Full <laughs> confession and we'll take the death penalty off the table. Yeah. Authorities found the latest victim's truck on your client's property. When they find his DNA in it, what more do you need? Come on, gentlemen. Anyone can put a truck on someone's property. Without a body, this is pure conjecture. My client walks. That was the gentleman, Jim Reeves, on 5.40 AM. Classic country, KBK, oh. It's your pal, Cold Summers, Death Head Valley Drive. Wouldn't have it any other way. Good morning. Come here. Come here, baby. Sounds like pork chops. Oh, yeah. Chops. I thought you would sleep all day. Well, I smelt a big old hunk of man cooking. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> You're naughty. <laughs> You are naughty, but I don't know if that's enough for both of us. I bet I could eat that in one gulp. Well, let me go fix you a better cut then, baby. <laughs> I love you. Sweet little tart in there. She's hungry. It's a process, my friend. Embrace it. This is your destiny. I'm sorry. Would you like to say something? What is it? Oh, a 
foolish of me. Oh. <coughs> wait, wait. I have a family. <laughs> yeah. Listen, I have a son. I have to, I have to make it home, please. That's neat. <laughs> yeah. That's really nice. <laughs> no, you don't understand. Me and my wife, we just lost a child. <laughs> I don't think she could take this. Then your wife already knows how to grieve. <laughs> oh. oh, no. Please don't. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta go put away the bad man. She said we was going out breakfast. Hands off. I'm sorry. He's gonna eat the last piece. You are, baby. It's cooked. Probably overcooked. So nice of you to join us, Mr. Ralston. We were getting a little worried. Worried? Well, first of all, good morning. And I apologize for being late. <clears throat> My son, well, he ate something and no one knows what he ate. <laughs> he ended up throwing up all over my phone. Ah, on the phone. And on the phone, yeah. Yeah, that would explain it. Convenient. Anyways, where are we? I don't know, you tell me. I'm listening to your flunky spew nonsense for the better part of three hours now. But you got a real good grasp on what conjecture means now, don't you, Eddie? No body, no case. Well, who said we don't have a body? I came back to tell you I'm sorry My sorrow was greater than my pride Too late I knew when I saw you So my heart stopped, trembled, let it die I started to tell you I love you And ask you if you would be my bride And then I saw the rings on your finger My heart stopped, trembled, let it 